Help support the companies that support our community. I got this piece of wood from Trevor at Worldwide Burls last year and this particular piece here I've been cutting little chunks off and I got to this point and it looks like half a heart so I've been saving this one for a couple of months now for a Valentine's Day project so I just ran it through the bandsaw just resawed it and cut off two slices about a quarter of an inch and then went ahead and just flattened them off so they go together nicely I ran, ran them through the, the whole project. I ran it through the surface center a few times to get it all cleaned up. But I just went ahead and cleaned them up so they fit together nice and then ran them through the surface sander. After they were all done, I used the Starbond Thin CA glue to glue them together. I'm gonna end up casting this whole piece at, or this whole thing has one piece so it just needs to hold them together long enough for that so I just picked up a pizza pan at the Dollar Tree and it was Teflon I figured this the resin wouldn't stick to it I'll show you that at the end of the video but the top there didn't quite look like a heart so I went ahead and, and uh, just kind of cut it down a little bit with the bands on And then I mixed up some, uh, this is countertop resin. This is the regular standard countertop resin. Robin and I have been doing a bunch of coasters and I'll show you those at the end too. But this stuff works great for it. I, I don't think it's meant to be poured, you know, quarter inch thick, but we've done quite a few projects and it, it they're all coming out great. So it's working fantastic. After I got it out of the pizza mold, which took me quite a while, I went ahead and ran through the surface sander and then put it on the CNC machine and carved out this on it. I'll show you this this part later at the at the end too. I just car carved out I love you, I love us on it and it worked fantastic. It just, uh, I don't know, we've been playing with the CNC too uh, quite a bit so it's a lot of fun. And then I mixed up some black and I just used a paintbrush also that I got at the Dollar Tree and went ahead and filled in all the little little grooves there. That way I didn't have a bunch of black resin all over it. And then after that set up, I went ahead and ran it through the surface sander again. Once I got it sanded, I went ahead and went up to 240. I just poured a flood coat over the top of it. It's a pretty easy process. The thing that takes the time is is every time you pour a coat of resin, you have to wait 24 hours. So it's kind of just pour it on there and then the waiting game. And just went ahead and torched it. I did the same thing, just poured the, the, the countertop resin over it, torched it a couple of times, and it came out really nice. There it is. It's 12 inches in diameter, so I'm not quite done with it yet. I poured it a day ago, but it's still a little bit... It's not sticky, but it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, tacky. I don't know. I think both those are the same thing. But anyway, it's not quite ready. I don't want to flip this over and sand the bottom of it yet. I think it'll it will scratch out. So I'm going to let that set up for a couple of days, and then I'll flip it over and, and sand off the, the back side of it. Um, yeah, it was... I saw that piece of wood a couple months ago and I thought, well, that's, it looks like half hard. We need to do something with it. And I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. And so originally I was just gonna, I knew I was gonna cast in something like this and I was gonna do like a hard shape with it around this. So there was a little border and and then sand, sand all that down. But Robin liked this. She goes, I could use it in the kitchen for crackers, a little serving tray or something. So we're just gonna, gonna leave it like that. All right. Oh, I mentioned the, the pizza pan. So I got this at Dollar Tree. I don't think it's actually like real Teflon. I'm not sure what it is. But I even went and bought some mold release to, like last week and I could have just sprayed it on there, but I wouldn't. I just figured it wouldn't stick to it and it does. So use some mold release or something on it because it was a mess we um yeah it took me i don't know 20 30 minutes to pry that thing out of there 
Um, we've been uh, playing around with the CNC quite a bit. So Robin's been doing coasters and I'll put some pictures of those up here. So she's been uh, getting, getting designs and stuff, pouring coasters, and then I've been bringing them over here and uh, carving them out on the CNC and then adding different colors in them. So just been having a lot of fun with that. I didn't, um, I haven't had any problems with it. Everything's been working good. I haven't screwed anything up until this. I'll show you a picture right here, the eye. So I did a little test on there. I stick this double-sided tape down to the thing and I wasn't even thinking about it. I brought the router down to zero and hit start. And it comes up here, this is quarter inch thicker than where zero is and it just dug in there. Before I could hit stop it, it gouged it. So I took some, made some sawdust, filled that in a little bit. You can still see it, but it helped out a little bit. So I have a birthday coming up. I need need some help guys. So in the comments, can you uh, remind Robin that I have a birthday coming up here in a couple of months and I need one of those touch plates for the CNC so that won't ever happen again. <laughs> oh, what a mess. As soon as it gouged into it, as I was like, just, I thought I ruined it and it had gone all the way through, but it was a fun, fun project. Yeah, I just, wasn't sure I have a, uh, some uh, some of that piece left, so I'm gonna go ahead and play around with it. And maybe maybe make some thicker ones and try and make some some different things with it. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the next one.